This, this is a bad idea. I, I really don't want to make this video. People are going to get so upset. There are fewer topics in the tarantula hobby more controversial and more widely argued than what species is the largest tarantula. There's so much bad or archaic information out there, exaggerations and just straight up lies that it's hard to determine what species technically is the largest. Now I'm no arachnologist or biologist or scientist of any sort, but I have scoured the internet checked all kinds of websites and message boards and talked to a lot of keepers and breeders and have tried to narrow down the actual sizes of a lot of these species to make a list of the top 10 largest tarantulas. Now before you leave a comment that says the giant huntsman spider is the largest, I don't care. I'm not talking about spiders. We're talking about tarantulas. Huntsman spiders are not tarantulas, so it doesn't count. Now this is your first time watching one of my videos. My name's Richard. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. And if you enjoy content about tarantulas, spiders, scorpions, and all kinds of other inverts, please consider subscribing and leave a comment. Let me know it's your first time. Now starting off the list with number 10, we're gonna have an old world baboon tarantula that comes in around seven inches in size or like 18 centimeters for the rest of you out in the world. And that is a Pelinobius muticus. Known better as the king baboon tarantula, this species is found in East Africa, and it's the only species in its genus. This is a fossorial species, so you won't see it a whole lot, but they can live up to about 20 years. Now number nine is another old world species that's coming in about the same size, seven inches or 18 centimeters, and spends a whole lot of time underground as well, especially when they're young. And that is a Hysterocratis gigas referred to more commonly as the H. gigas or the Cameroon red baboon. This large tarantula is rumored to swim and catch fish. And supposedly this obligate burrower from Cameroon can be kept communally with other tarantulas of the same species. Personally, I haven't tried that communal thing. I don't know if I actually would, but it's out there. So, you know, do with that information what you will. <laughs> Just be careful. Now this next tarantula's name makes it sound a lot bigger than it is. And it's one of those species where there's been a lot of controversy over what size it can actually grow to. But we're gonna be conservative and say it has a leg span of around seven inches or 18 centimeters, and I'm talking about the Megafabema robustum. You may recognize it by the Colombian giant tarantula or the Colombian giant red leg. This species is found in the tropical rainforests of Colombia and Brazil. Now the robustum does not have the typical threat posture you normally see in a tarantula. The powerful rear legs have sharp barbs, which are used to impale those that might disturb it. Instead of lifting up its front legs and showing you its fangs, it will bounce up and down and kick those legs in like a bucking fashion, like a horse. And if it continues to feel threatened or irritated, it will start twirling around in a circle in an attempt to confuse its attacker. Now this twirling action is sometimes referred to as the cartwheel of death, though that's not really uh, accurate betrayal, but it sounds cool. And seeing a tarantula of that size acting like that would definitely uh, get me to take a few steps back. Now number seven is a tarantula you cannot argue that it is large. Where the controversy will probably come in is which species in the genus is the largest. I spent a lot of time researching trying to figure out which species was technically the largest, but there's so much conflicting information out there, I, I really wasn't able to settle in on one. So we're gonna kinda cheat on this one. Coming in around eight inches is the Pamphibeta species. I don't know if that's the Platyoma or the Vespertinus or what other Pamphibeta species may be the largest, but if you know, be sure to tell me down below in the comments. But for the sake of this video, we'll just say it's the Brazilian pink bloom tarantula, which is a new world terrestrial opportunistic burrower that can be found in Ecuador and Brazil. Now these tarantulas put on size fast and there are definitely noticeable size differences after a molt. There have been a few instances where I got a Pamphibeta spiderling and put it in its enclosure and after one or two molts had to move it into enclosure twice that size. So they grow quick. Now similar in appearance to the last spider, number six is gonna be a little bit larger with an average size of about eight and a half inches. And that species is the Xenethesis amonis, or a simpler version is the Colombian lesserback tarantula. This is a very stunning bird spider due to its size and coloration and it comes from Bogota, Colombia. They're quick to flee and kick hairs when they feel threatened. And this tea is known for sticking their abdomen straight up in the air as a warning before bolting and leaving behind a cloud of irritating sete. It's simply just a gorgeous tarantula and one of my favorites to film and photograph. 
All right, we are moving into the top five largest tarantulas, but before we do, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It means a lot to me and definitely helps out this channel. So the number five species is an old world arboreal tarantula that is just a truly intimidating species. Known to grow up to have a 10 inch leg span is the Postlotheria ornata. Now this is definitely one of the most intimidating species in my collection. And this large arboreal tarantula is endemic to Sri Lanka. Their leg spans sometimes can reach up to 10 inches or 25 centimeters in females. and it's probably the second largest tarantula in the Postlotheria genus. Outdone only in size by our next species. Coming in at a solid 10 inches, maybe 10 and a half inch leg span is the Postlotheria rufulata. Now this may be the largest of the arboreal tarantulas and it is an amazing species. They have a yellow and green highlighting on their carapace and legs with iridescent blues and greens on their feet. Now, this tarantula will stay out in the open more than most other Postlotheria species do. And this is a species that a lot have attempted to keep communally with varying rates of success, but mostly it seems like they tolerate a communal enclosure. Now these next three species are where things get really hairy, no pun intended. These large bird eater spiders have a huge leg span and very heavy bodies. And there is a lot of contention as to which species belongs in that number one spot. So before I go any further, I want you to leave a comment down below as to which tarantula species you think deserves the number one spot on this list. Go ahead, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'm, I'm not gonna wait. Number three, coming in with a leg span somewhere between nine to 10 inches is the Lociadora periabana. Referred to as the LP or the salmon pink bird eater, this new world terrestrial tarantula is endemic to northeastern Brazil. This species is argued to be the third or fourth largest tarantula in the world, growing somewhere between nine to 11 inches, with most only being around eight or nine inches in reality. But for this list, we'll consider it the third largest tarantula behind these next two species. All right, I'm gonna tell you my pick for the second largest tarantula, but I can already see some of you are getting irritated. I can feel that frustrated energy through the camera. But relax, this is just for fun. This isn't like a scientific paper that I'm publishing or anything like that. Good times, we're having a good time. Coming in with an impressive 10 inch leg span or 25 centimeters for the rest of you in the world is the Theraphosa apophysis. Supposedly the world's largest or maybe more accurately longest leg tarantula, this species inhabits burrows in tropical Venezuela. Theraphosa apophysis is very similar to the blondi and the Sturmy, except for very subtle differences. The apophysis has far more setae or hair on its legs with a very noticeable pinkish reddish hue over its body. And as spiderlings, they also have pink feet, which really makes them stand out. And that's just kind of adorable. Oh man, here it is. Who's he gonna pick? Am I gonna love him or hate him? Well, you can call me King Solomon because I'm splitting this baby. Coming in with a huge leg span between 10 to 11 inches. If someone says it's 12 or 13, they're probably lying to you. The number one largest tarantula, in my opinion at least, is the Theraphosa Sturmy slash Blondie. Two tarantulas, you can't do that. Now the Blondie and the Sturmy are said to be the largest spiders in the world by mass, weighing in around 175 grams or about six ounces. And their body length, well that can be up to 13 centimeters, or like a little over five inches. Second only in leg span to the giant huntsman spider, these tarantulas are truly a large beast to behold. Now the coloration of these heavy bodied spiders will vary from a rusty brown or a rich burgundy brown to a dark brown or even just kind of a light tan. And they have reddish setae on their legs and abdomen and white lines on their legs.
There are definitely some differences in appearance between the Blondie and the Sturmy, but you really gotta look at them closely to figure that out. But at any rate, they're both huge and heavy tarantulas, and it's probably no surprise that the Goliath Bird Eater is the number one species on this list. If you wanna see the rest of my top 10 list, just check out this playlist right here. And if you wanna see some species-specific videos on a lot of the tarantulas that made this list, watch this playlist right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>